Welcome to another episode of Uncolored Remark on Fab TV, where we bring to you top trending gist and entertainment that you don't want to miss. So on today's episode, we're going to be talking about upcoming musician Lil Fresh. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere while we go on a quick break. My name is Rachi Irizundu and I will be right back. Welcome back. So, an upcoming musician named Blue Frosh just um, posted on his Instagram and social media pages that Nigerians should hear him out and that he's innocent of all the accusations that were given to him in sometime two years ago, I think in 2020, 2022. Yes, um, his girlfriend at the time, Cute Germany, that's her name, she released some pictures and you know, some messages, you know, some chats claiming that Lil Frush was beating her and, you know, physically abusing her at the time. In the picture, she shared pictures where she had, she had swollen eyes, you know, swollen face, and, and she was looking, she was crying in some of the pictures, in some chats, and it went viral and everybody was talking about it. And at the time, Lil Frush was David Doe's new signing. David Doe had just signed him to his BMW record label. So at that time, it was everywhere and everyone was bashing the frosh, calling him a woman beater and um, everyone was pitying Kid Germany. So um, David O heard of it and uh, expelled him from his record label. He was expelled from his record label and nobody wanted to hear him out at the time. So his girlfriend then, you know, got pity, so many people pitied her, you know, nobody wanted to have anything to do with the frosh. And the frosh was a very, very talented musician you know he was a very, very talented artist his songs were nice honestly but you know he was being associated to that kind of pain you know the fact that he was now seen as a woman beater no one wanted to listen to his songs anymore and that was how his career died he was a fast rising you know artist but his career just died because people thought he was a woman beater so no one wanted to have anything to do with him including david because david o, you know, David Doe is David Doe doesn't want to hear such thing. He has zero tolerance for you know, for abuse. So he he kept quiet. So all these years, all this while he's been quiet. But then recently he just came to social media to explain to us that he's innocent. And so they're pleading and begging Nigerians to forgive him, you know, I mean to give him another chance, you know, and also begging David Doe to listen to him, to hear him out that he's innocent of all the accusations. According to him. He said, uh, "Cute Germany just she just had a boil. So the pictures of the swollen eyes she shared was, according to her, that was from beaten. But she just, according to him, she had a boil that she they even both of them even went to the pharmacy together to see if they could treat. But you know, it got worse, and then one side of her eyes started to swell. And it got it got swollen, and she used those pictures against him, and claimed that she was being beaten by him." She posted the pictures and everyone believed her. I mean, it's so easy for people to believe that a woman is being abused. You know, once, we, once a woman comes to cry out, it's, it's only on very, very few occasions that people want to hear the man's side of the story. So when she shared those pictures, according to the Frush, she even blackmailed him, collected money from him. He begged and begged, but she didn't listen to him. So according to the first side of the story, he claimed that those pictures were not from beatings. She had boils. She had a boil at the back of her head that that was affecting her eyes. And they even went to the pharmacy together to treat it, and you know, and it wasn't getting treated. It was getting worse at the time. So she took pictures of it and kept it and decided to use it to frame him. And he said that the only time he hit her, he he actually admitted to hitting her once. He said she disrespected his mom at the point she she spoke rudely to his mom and he only slapped her once and after he slapped her he begged and begged and begged and she didn't listen to him and she you know she wanted to deal with him with everything by all means she really wanted to and honestly she meant business she wanted to deal with him so she posted those pictures got pity from nigerians nigerians pitied her you know people don't want to hear domestic violence people don't want to hear that that a, a lady a young lady because she was so young at the time she looked so young they were a very young couple at that age was already getting beaten going through domestic violence at that age she wasn't even married so you know 
It was so bad that the widow had to expel him from his record label and no one heard of him. So the first now has come to cry out. He said that even people that, that they started music together uh, are above him now, way above him. At some point, he felt suicidal and he wanted to take his life. Honestly, that can be really depressing if you work so hard to get to a point and then someone just comes in and scatters your entire career. Like his entire career died at the time. And he said that even people he started music with, I mean, even people he started music before them, have started going far and he's seen them all over the place and he feels so bad that he isn't where he's meant to be. And now he's pleading to Nigerians, he's begging the do, he's begging the do to at least accept him back and everything. Well, I heard, um, we heard that the do has finally followed him back on Instagram. The do has followed him back. That's, that's good news. That's nice. But at the same time, I feel that, I personally feel that he can be whoever he wants to be. He doesn't necessarily need the do's record label to be great. He can start doing his songs, start posting on social media, you know, TikTok. These days, social media is so powerful. The power of social media now, as a social media is so underrated, it has made so many people. So now that he has come out, it's a very, very brave thing. As much as I don't support him slapping her even that once, but then, why would, why would she go that far just to dent his image? That's just wickedness if you ask me. Why would she go that far? He pleaded, he begged. So it was left for you to do whatever you wanted to do, but at least say the truth. Even if you wanted to sue him, lock him up in the police station or whatever it is you wanted to do, but just don't lie. Don't say what did not happen just to dent his image. Imagine saying that he beats you when you when, when you know that clearly that wasn't that was an infection. I mean, when I saw the picture at the time, I knew that it was just so obvious that that wasn't that you know growth on her eye wasn't from beating because I know if you beat anyone and the person has the person's eye has to swell up like that, there's going to be a black eye or a redness beneath, beneath the eye to show that the person was beaten. So I it was kind of I was skeptical about the whole thing when the news was spreading. I wasn't just jumping into conclusions to say, oh, the first is a bad person, the bad person did this, did that. I, which I just wasn't sure. That was that was the impression I got at the time. I wasn't sure because it was just somehow. But now he has come out to cry out to Nigerians, and the girlfriend or ex-girlfriend to Germany, on the other hand, hasn't come to debunk anything. So we're assuming that he's saying the truth this time. He didn't beat her, he didn't beat her, he's saying his innocence has been crying. He's a young boy who has been struggling so hard, has been struggling so hard. I understand that beating of any kind, even if it's a slap or a punch, it's not good. But then, why, why would you exaggerate something just to punish a person? How wicked can you be? How wicked can you be just to tarnish someone's image? And then there have been times that this cute gen Germany of a girl has been boasting that she will deal with someone, you know, if she gets into an argument or a quarrel with someone, especially her TikTok, you know, her fellow TikTokers, she will threaten, say that she's going to deal with them, that she she, she, she remember how she dealt with your faith, referring to the fresh. So, you know, she's been, she's been threatening people, any little argument, she will threaten to deal with you. So I guess that's, that's the same way she dealt with you fresh and ruined his career. He, she honestly, she ruined his entire career at the time because he was a fast rising artist, talented, and people were hearing of him. But then all of a sudden, after that whole issue that happened, nobody heard of you fresh again. I mean, like nobody heard of him. It's like he went into hiding. He went into depression of some sort. I mean, how wicked can one be? How heartless can one be to to go that far? To go that far just to dent a person's image that's that's not fair so this is my opinion this is what i think i think what he did was wrong what um i think what he generally did was absolutely wrong you don't have to take laws into your own hands just to punish someone you don't have to do that it's not necessary there's so many other things you could have done so you could have left the relationship. That, that would have been, you know, a better thing to do. If you feel this person has hurt you or this person has offended you to the point where you can't handle it, why not just leave? Why do you have to revenge? Must you revenge? Must you do something so wicked, something so heartless, you know, to a fellow person? That's, that's absolutely unfair. So, this is my opinion. What are yours? I'd like to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. 
Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you. Bye.